What's good, man? It's your boy One Way, and I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastards. You know what? One Way in. Says it's a done deal. It's no surprise we know who run here. Ain't with the cocky shit, but then we all know I'm top tier. It's hard. All right. We got One Way jumping off the porch with us today. Yo, what it is, man? What's going on with your game? Ain't nothing that chilling, man. Happy to be here. For sure, man. It's a pleasure to have you on the porch with us today. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. For sure, for sure. How it feel to be here? See, it's a blessing. You know, I started watching this shit before I even started rapping, so I kind of already has a heads up about this shit, you know, so just to be here, like a dream come true, like a stepping stone for me. No, for sure. It's a pleasure to have you here with us, man. So how it feel to be in a bigger city like Atlanta, Georgia? It feels great, because you know where I'm from? I'm, 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 I'm from a small town, you know, like, literally, you might get through my town in about five, ten minutes, no traffic. You feel me? Like, we don't, we don't really got... We don't got a lot there, you feel me? Like, you ain't got no jobs. You ain't got nothing to really wake up to, you feel me? So, like, most people where we from, we got to get up out of there. Like, the best way to put it, you know, ain't, ain't, ain't no other way to put it. Like, growing up, you either got to play sports or you got to hustle. Thanks. You know, it ain't, ain't no in-between, you feel me? So, to be here is a blessing, you feel me? It's a big stepping stone for me. Ah, oh, for real. You know what I'm saying? So Coming from an environment like Immokalee, yeah. why do you feel it's important to see new things and experience new things? Because, like, sometimes when you... When you're from a small, a small spot, a small town, like a lot of kids get trapped to what they see. You know what I'm saying? So like being able to travel different places, go out and see different things, open your eyes and make you see shit different. You feel me? Like whenever you're trapped in a small bubble all the time, you, like it's it, it just like for example, if you if you plant something in a pot, it's never gonna grow to its full potential because it's contained. You feel me? So th that's how I see life. You know what I'm saying? You gotta expand, grow. It's about networking. Now that's real. How would you explain the way of life, the culture, and the people of Immokalee, Florida? I mean, shit, man. Where we from, everybody working in the fields. I mean, to be honest, like, we got, we got Mexicans, we got Haitians, you know what I'm saying? Like, but that's mainly our majority of culture there. Like, like everybody, parents, like, growing up, going to school, all their parents work in the fields, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or, or either doing something else. You know what I'm saying? But it's no way in between that. You feel me? It, 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 it's not like you got a, a, a good job that'll go you know, check in every day. You feel me? To go work every day. It ain't like that, bro. You got to hit that road. Like to find a good job, you got to at least drive an hour to get there. You feel me? Real shit. So how would you describe the community? It's like, um, like everybody stick together, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, every town and place has their differences, you know what I'm saying? Like. You're not going to ne never find nobody to always agree with what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got you, you to gotta take that chance and be different. But it's up to you believing what you want to believe in. So at the same time, like, we, 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 we all is one. Don't get me wrong, but it's, it's hard for anybody to just be one at one time. You feel me? Would you say it's hard to make it out of a mock? <sighs> Man, listen. Real hard. Real hard, like, I mean, all we got that really, that, that really came from the town, you know what I'm saying, is, is athletes, bro. You know, football players, like, you know, we got, we had um, Alba Bentley, Edwin James, J.C. Jackson, um, Dearness Johnson, Mackenzie Alexander, Deidre Sinai, um, you know, Aaron Heron made it, Roland Anthony made it, you feel me? Um, it's, and it might be a few more I'm missing. But that's all we had was just football, you feel me? And I feel like I got a chance to, you feel me, um, bring some different light to the city. That's real. I feel like I got a chance to bring some different light, though. So how would you describe your upbringing in your childhood? Uh, my upbringing, I mean, I lost my dad early. I lost my dad when I was 12 years old. So it was, I didn't really have no father figure though. All I really had was my mom. So, you know, it was, it was a lot of things I used to look for. I had to go search to find, you know what I'm saying? So. Um, growing up, I couldn't say I had it the, the worst, but I ain't gonna say I had it the best either, you feel me? So, um, but growing up, I also was, was big into basketball. Like, that's what I seen every day. So, like, growing up, it was a point where I had to make a change, you feel me? Like, I pronounced with an enlarged heart. So, whenever I got pronounced with an enlarged heart, it was like, what am I gonna do next? I was in a dark spot, you feel me? And sometimes, and like, a lot of people scared to say this, but like sometimes you don't you don't see no light at the end of that tunnel, bro. You feel me? You don't see no light. So I used to have signs, but some signs you ignore. 
and you know what I'm saying? But God ain't gonna keep putting something in your, in your face for no reason. So it's up to you to pay attention to. So, and I say that to say this, cause I used to have dreams a lot about music, but I never really thought about pursuing it, taking that chance to go do it. And um, I was about, I was 22 years old whenever I first, first made that jump into it. And that's what kind of led me into it because I ain't, I ain't seen no light at the end of the tunnel. And I feel like that's, that's the sign God kept giving me. Like, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. And whenever I first went to the studio and, and made contact with that microphone, it was like that first feeling I had when I played basketball. It's like I fell in love with it. And from that day forward, I said, this is what I'm gonna do. And I just stuck to it since then. I've been, in it, I've been doing it three years now. That's real. I've been doing it three years now. What type of impact would you say losing your father had on you? A big impact, cause you know, I mean, growing up where we from is it's hard, man. Like, you need a father, bro. I mean, there's ain't no other way to, for me to really put it. Like, you need a father in your life, bro. Like guidance, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's only so much your mama can really do, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and not taking none from my mama, cause my mama did everything she could. But without having a father, it's like a lot of shit you got to go. It's trial and error on, you feel me? You ain't got nobody to go and say, hey, how do I do this? What should I do in this situation? That shit up to you. Or whoever you fucking with at the time. How does she feel when she found out you had a large heart? I mean, I feel like it hurt her more than it hurt me because seeing your son love something all your life, all his life, and not being able to pursue it, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit fuck with you mentally, bro. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people scared to say that, but mental health, but that shit key, bro. And and like being able to, to take that route and, and take that turn, I, I feel like it was it was big. And like her seeing what I'm doing now, she happy. They put a smile on her face. All right. You feel me? And 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 that's what's big to me. You know what I'm saying? That's real. I ain't seen that shit in a long time. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Because it could be hard to lose knowing that you can't pursue something because you know a medical condition. Like you had, I know you had league dreams. Oh, most definitely. Exactly. Man, I had an offer to a prep school my um, my sophomore year of high school. Mm. I had an offer to a prep school to go play ball my sophomore year of high school. The only reason I didn't go because I didn't want to leave my mama. Yeah. And then not too long after that, I get pronounced with in-laws heart. Exactly. And I was dealing with it on and off, you feel me, for like two, three years because I ended up going to ACC in Tampa to like a, a JUCO. I had an offer to go there. But during that time, I went back to the doctor and that shit was just cut off pretty much, you feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga had to make some shape. Right. And like you were saying about mental health earlier, I know that could have been real discouraging. But luckily you found faith again and passion again in music. Facts. Facts. That's real. I definitely found passion in it. Like, that's what I love to do. Like, ain't nobody got to tell me to go record. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm going to go do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, <laughs> I feel in love doing this shit for free, bro. You feel yeah. me? So if I got a chance to get paid for it, I'd be a fool not to do it. That's real. You know what I'm saying? I feel in love doing this shit for free. And nobody tell me to go, go do that. I chose to. That's what I wanted. So how did you deal with that depression in between finding out you had an enlarged heart and you can't pursue basketball to finding the passion with music? What was that in-between space like? The best way I could put it, it was real dark. I mean, like, getting into music, it made me find happiness again. You feel me? Like, um, it's it just like, it's just like, for example, I put you in a position. Like, if you love doing something all your life, and the day you find out you can't do it no more, what you look forward to? You ain't got nothing to look forward to. You don't, you don't know what's next. You feel me? What I used to think, what I wanted next, it couldn't happen no more. So like, all my plans had to switch. The best way I can put it, fam. All my plans had to switch. Like I had to. Find out what I want, what I love, you feel me? And, and just pursue it. And I'm glad I was able to find it. That's real. Thank God. So who would you say inspired you musically? That's kind of a hard question, I ain't even gonna lie. I could say like who I kind of um, look up to, but like just to say somebody that inspired me because when I, when I went to the studio, it, it wasn't nobody that inspired me to get there, you feel me? This is just what I wanted to do. But I can, I, I can sit here and tell you artists that I look up to in the game, you feel me? Like Lil Baby, you know what I'm saying? Kodak, Rod Wave, you know what I'm saying? Niggas like that, but just to sit here and say I had an inspiration to make me go to the studio, it wasn't that, it was me. 
That's some real shit. So walk us through your creative process. What is it like creating music for you? Um, I ain't gonna sit here and count with you, but like, I ain't no freestyler, but I ain't about to tell you, go put on a beat, I'm a freestyle. That's not me. I like to really sit down and, and go in depth with my shit, you feel me? And write my shit and, and, and let you know how I'm really feeling as a person, because how I feel yesterday might not be how I'm feeling today. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like a lot of shit is about what, what, what moods you in, what modes you in, you feel me? So that, that, that's the best way I can put it on that tip. That's the best way I can put it on that tip, fam. What would you say is your overall message in your music? Uh, really just, just believing. Um, first off, I'm a storyteller, but I would say the key to my message is believing. Like, don't ever feel like you can't, like, like something's too big for you to achieve, you feel me? Because if you could think about it, my nigga, you can get there. You feel me? And that's, that's how I see anything. If, if, if I can sit here and think about it, I got the ability to go get that. And that's how I make my music, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, it's just about motivation, motivation to the youth, you feel me? I ain't gonna sit here and tell nobody to go do something I wouldn't do, you feel me? But what I can tell you to go get some money, go put some money in your pocket, you feel yeah, me? Go do something positive, you feel me? But I ain't gonna sit here and tell you to go do something I wouldn't do, you feel me? I ain't gonna, that, that ain't me. How would that make you feel to have a fan approach you and let them know, or they let you know, I mean, that your music inspired them in a tough situation? It'll mean a lot, man, because, I mean, they will keep me going. Like, they will keep me motivated, you feel me? Like, that, that, that shit will really mean a lot, bro. Like, a whole lot. Like, words can't even explain that right now, to be honest with you. Words can't even explain it. It'll mean a whole lot to me. Because, I mean, that's, that's what a nigga work for, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I work to, to be able to touch people's lives, you feel me? Because at the same time, like, music was my therapy, you feel me? And, and I feel like people can listen to me and feel the same way. Get through what they going through by listening to what I'm saying. So that's how I see it, fam. Real shit. So where you get the name One Way? Honestly, man, what's crazy, before I even started making music, I already had my Instagram name as the only underscore One Way. So like, um, whenever I started making music, I was trying to think of a name. And I couldn't really think of one that I liked it. Then I was just on my Instagram one day and I'm like, damn, one way. I'm like, that shit got a lot of meaning too, you feel me? One thing about it, like I'm big on, if I can explain something to you and explain the meaning to it, I'm gonna stand on it, you know what I'm saying? And whenever I, whenever I said the name to myself over and over, I'm like, I'm fucking with this. Like, that's, that sound like me. And that's what I ran with, you feel me? Like, just growth, prosperity, you feel me? One more than you had yesterday, you feel me? It ain't never enough. How hard is it for you to be relatable, share your triumphs, your struggles, and everything, and be vulnerable in your music while you're creating it? Um, I ain't gonna lie, I feel like when I'm in the studio, it's not as hard because I feel like that's my space where I feel like I could talk about anything. You feel me? I could open up about anything. Like, one thing about that microphone, it ain't gonna never judge you. It's gonna listen to whatever you gotta say. So whatever I gotta say to that motherfucker is gonna listen to me. Best and it's not gonna, and it's not gonna say nothing back. It don't matter, it don't matter. I, I could be saying something wrong, bro, some fucked up shit. But that bitch ain't gonna talk back to me. Yeah. They gonna listen to what I gotta say, you feel me? That's his only option. So that's, that's how I feel about it, fam. Like whenever I'm in that studio, it don't matter who in there, you feel me? It don't matter who with me. When I get to that studio and I see that mic, I know what I'm here for, you feel me? It's my job. That's what I do. What would you say is your ultimate goal with music? Man, my ultimate goal with music, you know, of course, you know, I got goals of taking care of my family. That's first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? But on top of that, to be able to tell people lives, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to be no rapper leading niggas in the wrong direction, you feel me? I want to be the nigga to lead you in the right way, you feel me? And I ain't saying I'm the best person because shit, I fuck up too, you feel me? We all do, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like, I just want to put you into my mind, show you what I'm on, you feel me? Make you understand me, see me as a person. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes how you view a person, it, it, it ain't really who you know. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm big on, because a lot of people see me and don't think I can talk well either, you feel me? But I'm very, very intelligent, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Very intelligent, young man. That's real. Most dope. 
Just can't play with me on game. <laughs> <laughs> so besides music, what's some of the other business revenues that you want to dive into? Um, one thing I really want to get into, like real estate. Um, I, I really want to get into real estate. Uh, I want to get in like semi trucks, CDLs, and shit like that. Um, uh, clothing, big on that. You know, I like to stay fresh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but that won't be my top three right now. If I had to just pick three things, like real estate, um, like I say, clothing, and um, CDL driving. Like owning some semi trucks, you feel me? Try to get contracts with, you know what I'm saying? Different people, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's, you can get contracts with Amazon, Walmart, different people, you feel me? And really, you know, the legit way and run up some money, you feel yeah, me? Real. So that's how I see it, bro. Nah, that's real. You know what I'm saying? Why do you feel, not only as a musician, but as a man, period, it's important to be business savvy? Cause life is business. I mean, like, Ain't nobody doing nothing for free, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in something to make some money. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's, that's the best way I can put it. Everybody do something to make something, bro. Ain't nothing free in this world. So I feel like everything is business. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the shit you might think, not business. That shit's still business. If you spending a dollar, a business, making a dollar, that shit business. That shit business. <laughs> Straight up. That shit business. Bro, that's it. That's it. Come out of them pockets and a big collect. That shit, business. <laughs> Straight up. Talk about the time you got your heart broke for the first time. Ooh. Damn, you put me on the spot with them. But let's talk about it though. Um, I ain't gonna lie. First time I got my heart broke, bro. I think I was in like elementary on some little kid shit. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I was in ele- you feel me? I was in elementary on some little kids, shit. Late travel. <laughs> See, he know, he know. Hey, he had the school and everything on point. Um, yeah, some late travel kids, shit, man. You feel me? Probably supposed to meet a little girl at the water fountain. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Not, not major though. I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, other than that, bro, man, just big on peace, bro. You feel me? Like. Shit ain't for me, I ain't with it. You know what I'm saying? If you for me, I'm for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's so, how we gonna rock out. So ever since she ain't show us to the water fountain. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> what? What was the life lesson right there? What would you say you learned right then and there? Whenever she ain't show to that water fountain. Yeah. You can't trust nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me you gonna be there. Yeah. I'm supposed to see you at that water fountain. <laughs> I can't try nothing. Learn that early. Yeah. Don't listen to what a bitch say. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Don't listen so what's it. the standard now? What's some shit you don't go for in a woman now? What's some shit I don't go for? Don't lie to me. Just tell me what it is. Feel me? Just tell me what it is. I don't care if, if, if what it is might not be what I want to hear. Just tell me what it is. And we good. That's it. That's it. I don't want nothing else from you. Just keep it 100 with me. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. What's some of the goals you got set for yourself for the rest of the year? Um, really, man. Um, I really want to get this next project finished up. Um, get this next project out that we've been working on. That's that's, that's one of my main goals. Um, also just to travel more, network with different producers, different engineers, get in different studios, travel to different cities. Um, you know, get my foot in the different you know different spots. You know, work my way in. Um, I would say that's my main focus for this for this year. You know what I'm saying? Just just growing my fan base. You know what I'm saying? Growing growing my followers, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Just just becoming more out there. You know what I'm Fair saying? Spill. What else you working on right now? Uh, just a lot of music. I mean, a lot of music videos. Um. We got some clothes in the, in the process too, some merch coming out. We got some merch in the process. Um, hopefully that should be coming out real soon. Um, but other than that, fam, that's about it. You know, I'm just locked in working. What can the fans expect a new project? Oh, uh, I'm definitely gonna drop a video, I would say, in about, in about the next week or two. About the next week or two. 
But the next project I would say it'll be about maybe about two, three months or so for the next full project for a little EP. What should we, we expect from that motherfucker, man? What should we expect? Shit, a lot of gas, man, a lot of pressure, a lot of growth, man. You know what I'm saying? For the people that knew me before and for the ones that don't know me before, that's gonna go tap in, you feel me? Like, it's a lot of growth in this next, and in that project, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna really see the work I've been putting in, the grind I've been doing, you know what I'm saying? This shit wasn't no overnight type shit. Like, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people hear my music right now and think I've been rapping a lot longer than what I've been rapping, but I've only been rapping three years, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's gonna show a lot different. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna show a lot of growth from year one. Yeah, it's gonna show a lot different. That's real. Any last words and shout outs? You know, just shout out to my team, you know, all of them ain't on camera, but shout out to my team, man. Shout out to the ones with me, you know. Um, shout out to my um, producer, engineer, videographer, all that, Larry, you know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to y'all boys for real, just having me here, man, you know? Like I said, I used to watch y'all shit growing up, so, at an early age, so just being here, it's a blessing. Girl, spill. Said it's a done deal. It's no surprise we know who run here. Ain't with the cocky shit, but then we all know I'm top tier. It's hard to catch a nigga, done took off the